Recently, we celebrated International Women's Day, and I have to admit, it made me feel kind of inspired. That's why I decided to make a video paying tribute to an up-and-coming female journalist. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else, meet Heather S. Heather S. is a reporter who works for Condé Nast, a media conglomerate with such publications as Jezebel, Wired, Vice, and many more. Heather is currently working on an expose on online harassers and cyberbullies, such as Asterios Kokinos, who is shown here bullying a former moderator of The Donald. Actually, now that I think about it though, Heather looks kind of familiar. Oh, what's this? In a court document released on March 8th, 2018, I, George Ozunian, aka Maddox, being duly sworn, deposes... I think he means deposed. I, George Ozunian, being duly sworn, deposes and says the following... <laughs> Wait, what? This doesn't... This sentence makes no sense. I, he's saying I says... <laughs> I, George Ozunian... I, I, the sentence would make sense if it didn't say I at the beginning and it's like speaking in third person, but it says I, George Ozunian, being duly sworn, deposes and says the following under penalties of perjury. I am one of the individual plaintiffs in the above entitled action, and I am familiar with all of the facts and circumstances in this action. I posed as a journalist named Heather when I corresponded with Mr. Kaufman in an attempt to keep my complaint, my identity, private so Kokidos would not retaliate against me. Alright, I know, this is the third time that I've made a video about the Maddox lawsuit, but it just keeps on getting more and more ridiculous. And the reason why I had to go and make a third video is because this time, Maddox has accidentally admitted to lying under oath and committing a criminal act of impersonation. The story of Heather S. begins on February 22nd of 2017. An email was sent to Weber Shanwick, the employer of Asterios Kokonos, one of the defendants in the lawsuit, and AT&T, who Heather mistakenly believed to be one of their clients. Dear Weber Shanwick staff and AT&T, CCing AT&T on this because you've worked with Weber Shanwick for online print before. My name is Heather. I am a freelance journalist writing on behalf of the Condé Nast Media Group, whose work has appeared in Wired, Jezebel, The Mercury News, Vice News, etc. The email then goes on to attempt to smear Asterios Kokonos for his connection to Dick Masterson, who has said and done a lot of controversial shit in his comedy career. It also accuses Asterios of using alt-right phraseology like cuck, and that it provides screenshot examples such as, fuck off, cuck, and... <laughs> That sentence is grammatically incorrect, cuck. A representative of Weber Shan with Joshua Kaufman winds up responding back and forth with Heather S, trying to vet them and see if they're an actual reporter. Heather, who supposedly works at 4 Tim's Square in New York, never actually verifies her identity and the whole thing winds up fading away. After this thinly veiled attempt to really make it personal and get Asterios fired fails, Asterios goes to Reddit and demands that Maddox apologize. Obviously, that apology never fucking came, people continued to roast Maddox, and it seemed like that was the end of Heather S. until she made another appearance once again in the initial complaint in the lawsuit. Maddox opted to double down on this insane lie, insisting that not only was he not Heather S., but by demanding that apology, Asterios was continuing his harassment campaign. In the section from the initial complaint pertaining to the Heather S. emails, Maddox wrote, In other posts from Defender Weber Shanwick's offices during work, Defendant Kokinos brags about buying targeted ads to get around plaintiff's block and threatening to continue harassing plaintiff unless he apologized for something plaintiff didn't even do. Apologized for something the plaintiff didn't even do. That's where the perjury comes in, because if you remember the beginning of this video, in the most recent documents, Maddox signed an affidavit saying that he was in fact Heather S. That means that by his own admission, one of his initial complaints was a lie. He just admitted to lying under oath, but that's not the only thing he did with that statement. As it turns out, there really is a Heather S. who works for Condé Nast. 
And I'm not going to put her information out there because it's really up to her whether or not she wants to involve herself in this shit show. But by doing this, he committed a criminal act that could have jeopardized her career. And in all likelihood, this was no fucking accident. He probably used the name Heather S. knowing that this person existed. So if they went to go look her up, they would find, oh yeah, this is a real person who works for Condé Nast. Like, at that point, we're not talking things that are like, oh, this will get the lawsuit thrown out, oh, you know, he'll have to pay Asterios and dick their legal fees back. This is serious shit here. This is where the whole fucking thing falls apart and blows up right the fuck in Maddox's face, and honestly, it's kind of satisfying to see someone who acts this way being undone by their own fucking callousness. You know, a longtime viewer asked me a really good question about these videos. Gotcha Ghost, who's been watching me probably since I've been under a thousand subscribers, asked me, why does any of this matter? And you know, whether or not something is actually uh, important or stuff like that, it's not something I tend to think about too much when making these videos, because to me, it's entertainment enough to just laugh at ridiculous people making assholes of themselves, but, well, you know, why make three videos about this one guy? And it got me thinking, this actually kinda does matter whether or not you give a shit about Maddox, or any of the people involved in this, or even know who the fuck they are, it does matter. Because, here's the thing, our legal system, it exists ostensibly so we can get justice, so we can, uh, right wrongs. The legal system shouldn't be something that you can use to silence people who criticize you, or attack people that you don't like, and that's exactly what Maddox is trying to do here. And the thing is, like, you watching this, you're online, you engage in all kinds of online activities, this could happen to you. And fortunately in this case, the people involved, uh, Dick Masterson, Asterios, Weber Shanwick, Patreon, which by the way, I want to give respect to Patreon for standing by their creators and their employees in this situation. You know, it would have been real easy for them to bow to Maddox's demands, uh, delete Asterios' account, delete Dick's account, and just wash their hands of the whole situation, but they decided to fight back. And as a person who uses Patreon, that gives me more confidence in using their service. But thankfully in this situation, all of the defendants, they're in a financial position where they're able to get lawyers and fight this thing out to the end. Not everyone has that. Without laws to prevent people from using the legal system as a weapon in this kind of way, you can basically be bullied into silence, get sued and be like, oh well, I guess I just gotta shut up now because I ran out of money. And there's only two states in all of the United States that have laws against these kind of thing. Washington State, and wouldn't you know it, California, where Maddox and Dick Masterson live. And with that in mind, it becomes pretty obvious why Maddox chose New York as the venue for this lawsuit as opposed to California, because if he tried this shit in California, he'd be in a lot of fucking trouble after he loses this thing. And now that Maddox has shot himself in the foot like perhaps no one ever has before, I feel like this thing might be drawing to a close soon. But until then, check out my other- oh, I've got a point over there. Check out my other videos on the topic. Goodbye, Heather S. See you next time.